So one thing I love about predator fishing is the eat. Obviously, watching the visual aspect of this sport of a 40 inch or 50 inch fish come by the boat on a figure eight or come up behind your fly or lure uh, just under the surface. The visual aspect of this sport is probably the most um, adrenaline that you can get, I think, in freshwater fishing. We were floating down the river in your red canoe. You were laughing at my stories. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about uh, handling eek socks, both pike and muskie. In my estimation, it's one of the biggest topics around getting people into the sport, people that have been in for a little while, and even people that are fishing waters where pike and muskie exist, but they're not targeting them, where they might catch them as a, as a bycatch. So the point of this video is to spread the word um, to how to handle these fish, both for your safety and for the fish's safety. So let's talk about the tools. How do you handle these fish? What's the best way to go about it? What tools do you need to be um, you know, professional in your sport, or professional in trying to catch these fish? Um, the first tool that every uh, boater or fisherman needs is a pair of long needle nose pliers. These are gonna help you when you're handling the fish and you have that gill grab and you have it safe um, safely locked in both for your hands and how to handle the fish is to get a big long needle nose pliers to get in there take that hook out safely so you definitely need a pair of long needle nose pliers the second thing that you I always carry and I highly recommend is a pair of jaw spreaders jaw spreaders are where you're gonna put you know both ends in the fish's mouth uh, top and bottom spread them a little bit use the pliers to get in there and get that hook out because you do not want to put your hands in that fish and end up in the emergency room so a pair of good jaw spreaders and you also have to um, consider the gauge you don't want too big of a gauge for pike and muskie the third tool that i highly recommend especially for beginners or people that are learning how to handle these fish is a um, tailing glove this tailing glove you put right on and you will literally, in the net, you'll grab the fish around the tail, and this really helps stick to the fish's tail and it doesn't slide. Um, and then obviously what you wanna do there is then get a, a under the belly um, a hold or a gill grab hold, and then lift the fish up for a photo or two and put them in the back in the water. Again, we're all trying to practice uh, catch and release and, and safety for yourself and the fish. And this tailing glove um, is phenomenal. I use it with clients a lot that uh, want a good photo for the day of, of a big pike or muskie they caught. And this thing has saved a lot of fish from slipping out of people's hands and ending up knocking their heads on the boat and, and damaging the fish. Even though you put it in the water and it swims away, it's most likely not gonna live. So this tailing glove is phenomenal for not dropping fish. The last two tools, um, which are fun and important, is the net. Um, this is my musking net. This is a stowaway. As you can see, it folds up nice. Uh, even you could use them in kayaks or smaller boats. But I, I fish with a lot of people that uh, have bass nets in their boat or smaller uh, trout nets or, or bigger trout nets, I should say. And it's just, it's not conducive to for the safety of the fish and both to net the fish and make sure that you can release it and handle it with all your tools while it's in the net. And this opens up, and as you can see, it's a pretty big basket. I think it's got about a three, three or four foot uh, drop in the net. And this, I call this the playpen. It's like putting your kids in the playpen and giving them some toys. The fish is in there comfortably with the toy in his mouth. You're gonna use your tools to properly take the, the hook out and pick up the fish for a photo but you definitely need the proper net. I highly recommend this stowaway net. It folds up nice and you can put it away comfortably. The last thing that I wanna cover is a lot of us like to measure our fish. And who, who doesn't like to say, I got a 40 incher, I got a 50 incher, so forth and so on. So this is a musky bumper and I got this on muskybumper.com. In my opinion, this is a phenomenal bumper. Um, it goes up to 60 inches and uh, we'd all love to catch a 60 incher one day but this this bumper opens up folds away nice and as you can see here 
Um, it has uh, very clear markings of the inches and it has a coating on the bumper that allows uh, not to really take the slime off the fish because that's very important. Like I said, when handling it or dropping it in your boat, you don't want to do that because you want to keep that slime on that fish. I also recommend with a bumper board is to dip it in the water while the fish is in the net and you're getting all your tools organized and getting ready to take the hook out and getting ready for your shot. Set this up, dip it in the water, uh, make sure it's wet, put it, on, put it on your boat somewhere comfortably, measure the fish. Um, this also floats. So if the conditions are right, the water temperature and air temperature, or if you have waders on and you wanna get out, you can actually let this float on the surface of the water, put the fish on it and get a measurement. This is a phenomenal tool to have in your boat if you wanna measure fish. And the combination of all these tools and the net are gonna help you and is gonna help the fish. And for catch and release purposes and the longevity of these species, we really wanna practice um, these types of uh, tools and tricks to make sure that everything goes off smoothly for your day and make sure you get the best shot that you can get for a photo for your fish. So these are all the tools and I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, you feel free to contact me. Mike, 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 Mike. He missed it. He fucking came up and never hit it. There he is. Come on, eat it.